Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, it's Oji, a proud Anak Mindanao. Before I tell you what the episode is all about today, again, let me remind you, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and press the notification bell so you'll be updated with my present and future vlogs. <music> proceed with my topic for today i just want to say hi to a great lady my boss the honorable congresswoman amihilda sankopan of anak mindanao believe me guys this lady is not only intelligent she has a good heart and she fights for what is right for our people hi mom ami hope you're watching and to my other friends also in congress to uh, miss ria kicks hello to kyle jerome jed Erica, Jen, Brenda, and everybody else who are watching, hello to all of you. And also, I want to greet my sister, my ati girl, Jameda Lukman Pansar, the wife of Mayor Pansar of Boutique. She'll be celebrating her birthday this month. And of course, my niece, Shamina Lukman, who will be celebrating her first birthday also this month. So, happy birthday to the two of you, and I love you, I love you, I love you. So for today's episode, we'll be talking about my initial hot picks for Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Actually, I have five girls already uh, that I am seriously looking at. But let me remind you again, uh, this is just my initial hot picks. But before the finals and after seeing all the prelims competition, I will make my final uh, prediction for Miss Universe Philippines. Okay, if the basis of the pageant, ladies and gentlemen, is the number of votes, this girl, I would like to, to, to give her this moment, this girl will definitely win it, and her name is Kisses Delevingne, an actress, singer, endorser. In the last couple of weeks, she has already won two of the challenges by MUP, the Headshot Challenge and the introductory video challenge. So, kung magiging basis mo natin for the winner is the fan vote, the fan votes, Definitely, this girl will win it. So here we go with the five words that I have in mind. This year's MUP will be a battle between beauty queens, pageant veterans, models, and of course, we have the new faces uh, who are carrying some of uh, Manila's most familiar surnames. So we begin with Maria Corazon Abalos. Corinne is the daughter of MMDA chairman, Ben Her Abalos. She, gradu she graduated from De La Salle University with a degree in international studies. Now, Corinne is very raw, but just look at her, that Filipina beauty of hers. Quanting training, quanting experience. She has the goods, and I'm pretty, pretty sure her comp skills is very good because I've seen one, and I'm sure whatever questions thrown at her during the, the competition she can handle it so she's one girl that i'm i am really looking at that's Corinne abalos of mandaluyong city now the two beauty queens who are competing this these two girls are ang masabi ko, are well trained and ready with their past experiences as national title holders one Lerin bautista Laren already won two national titles, the Mutianang Pilipinas, after which she competed in the Miss Tourism, Queen, Miss Tourism International, where she won as the international winner. After a couple of years, she competed in Binibining Pilipinas and won again the Binibining Pilipinas Globe and eventually placing second runner-up in the Miss Globe contest. So Laren is ready again for another crown in this year's MUP search. The second one is another beauty queen, Katrina de Maranan. Katrina won way back in 2012 um, as Binibining Pilipinas Tourism, but did not get to compete abroad because the pageant that year was postponed. But in 2019, she was given the opportunity to represent the U.S. because I think she has, uh, she's holding a dual citizenship. 
uh, where she represented the USA in the Miss Supranational and eventually placed first runner-up. Now, Katrina has that very Filipina look. She's also an endorser, TV host. So, combine all those experiences, Katrina has a very good chance of also winning this year's MUP. And now, the last two girls that I am also looking at are um, Stephanie Abirasturi and Maureen Robelwitz. I hope I got that pronunciation right. You all know who Maureen is. She won Asia's Next Top Model a few years back. She's an aspiring actress and endorser also. But the only problem I see with Maureen is, as usual, modeling and pageantry are two different things. But if she's able to work that out, transform herself from being a model to a beauty queen, she has what it takes to win. This girl is also very smart, beautiful. Everything that uh, requires, uh, everything that uh, is needed rather, to become a beauty queen, she fits the peg. And lastly, we have Stephanie Abirasturi of Cebu. This girl has won every single pageant that she has joined in since she was young. So she's facing her biggest challenge of becoming a national title holder and eventually becoming MUP. But Steph also with her experience in the modeling world, uh, yung mukha pa lang niya, wow, napakaganda ng batang ito. Added to the fact that her comm skills also is very, very good. So that's Stephanie Abirasturi of Cebu, a very good and strong contender for this year's MUP. So ayan po, those are my initial hot picks. Again, this might change... Um, prior to the final uh, competition. So again, I want to thank all of you. Stay safe. It's ECQ. So stay home. You have a, if you have nothing important to do outside, please stay home. Health is important. So again, I want to thank all of you for watching. This has been your vlogger, Oji Lukman. Proud to be Anak Mindanao from my YouTube channel. Oh, it's Oji. Bye for now and see you in my next vlog. Say bye.